In this video, we're going to go over telescoping series. A telescoping series is a special case type of series where some terms uh, remain and some terms can cross out. So let's take a look at this one and see. The directions say converge or diverge. If converge, then find the sum. And we notice right away that we have a couple of fractions and a subtraction sign which makes us think this might be a telescoping series. So in order to see whether it's a telescoping series, since there's no general form for telescoping, we need to plug in some terms and find out what's going on. So let's go ahead and start by plugging in a 1, since we're supposed to start at 1. When we plug in a 1, we get 1 over 1 is 1, minus 1 over 2, which is 1 half. Plug in a 2, we would get a positive 1 half and a negative one-third. Plug in a three, we would get a positive one-third and a negative one-fourth. Plug in a four, we would get a positive one-fourth and a negative one-fifth. And this pattern would continue. Notice that here our negative half and positive half cancel. Negative one-third and one-third cancel negative one-fourth and one-fourth cancel. And I believe this is enough to show that this particular series would continue to collapse upon itself, which is why it's called telescoping. Think about a pirate telescope collapsing. The only term that did not collapse was one, so the sum of this uh, telescoping series is one. Now, not all telescoping series will be factored for you. So in this particular problem, notice this one reminds us uh, like a partial fractions problem from when we integrated. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to notice that the bottom does factor. So let's go ahead and factor that as 2n plus 1 and 2n minus 1. Let's then do some partial fractions. So we have a over 2n plus 1 plus b over 2n minus 1. Common denominator, a 2n minus 1, b 2n plus 1, and that's going to give us the numerator, which is 2. Choosing convenient values for n that would make a 0, if we choose n is 1 half, that would go ahead and make this front part 0. If we do that, then if we plug in on the other side here, uh, we would get 2b is equal to 2 and b is 1. If we choose n is negative half, we would get uh, negative 2a is 2 and a would be negative uh, 1. Excuse me, 1. Uh, so now we can go ahead and rewrite this as a series from 1 to infinity, only now we've got 1 over 2n minus 1 minus 1 over 2n plus 1. Well, that looks more like a telescoping. So let's go ahead and start plugging in numbers to see what's happening. We've got a 1 to start with, so if we plug in, uh, we would start off with 1 minus one-third. If we plug in a two, we would get one-third minus one-fifth. If we were to plug in a three, we would get one-fifth minus one-seventh, and the pattern would continue. Notice the negative one-third and the one-third collapse, the negative one-fifth and the one-fifth collapse, and that will continue to happen. Again, in this problem, our sum was one. It will not always be one, but it did happen to be that way here. So we can say it converges to 1. 